process of using the instant result verification ranges from real-time result confirmation from anywhere around the globe. This is the most obvious advantage of the verification system. Generally, the traditional paper-based result verification takes time as the candidate must visit any of our offices in the States to manually fill a form after which it will be sent via a paid courier to the council headquarters for processing and then sent back again via the paid courier. It provides academic institutions and compliance of level with simple, inexpensive, and almost immediate method of verifying candidates' results. Flexible payment model with both NIRA and foreign currency payment options. Improved customer experience and services. Reduced cost, stress, and time. The immediate result verification solution does not only help to reduce the cost of paying for career services, but also the time and stress for physically visiting the office to apply. I therefore want, this opportunity, want to use this opportunity to appeal to all stakeholders to desist from any and all form of practices that will attempt to compromise this platform and indeed other platforms of examination bodies in the country which deal with electronic transmitter verification and accreditation of results because appropriate sanctions will be meted out and defaulters prosecuted by the appropriate arms of the law. I look forward to the use of this platform as a one-stop shop to verify results from examinations conducted by the National Examinations Council. Despite drawbacks and seeming snail space, technological innovations are, without doubt, key catalysts in all sectors of the Nigerian economy, having been deployed wholesomely to increase productivity and efficiency in the various sectors of our economy. With almost all sectors of our economy leveraging ICT to drive efficiency, the sector contributes over 10% to the nation's gross domestic product, GDP. The foregoing underscores the importance and seriousness of today's events. Beyond making things easier for candidates and stakeholders, it will hopefully generate revenue and strengthen the financial base of NECO. By calling attention that since we've done this, there are two areas we should be looking at, not just for NECO, but all the other examination bodies. One is exam malpractice. I know you've been working on that. We've had several seminars. It is still out there, heavily out there, particularly in the rural areas. The capital cities are very sophisticated in it. Then the second is the overcharging of students by schools in order to raise money to settle invigilators. Uh, it's a very dangerous, it's as bad as Boko Haram because the students no longer read. All they need to do, what should be 11,000, they pay 40, 50, even 60,000, settle the vigilator, and they can sort themselves out and come up with eight A's. And then you say, go to university, say, no, I'm going to polytechnic, uh, because he thinks it is easier. So I want to commend you. I pray that uh, this will be a stepping stone to greater... Action is the most important element of our society is what determines whether we are going to develop, whether we are going to survive. It is. And that's why we had to leave the chamber and be here today. This is coming late as far as I'm concerned. Nigeria is behind. And it will surprise you that even our children, they are ahead of our institutions, if you know what I mean. What we are doing now, our children are far, far. They are gone. The youth have gone. And that's a problem for our country. Our institutions cannot be behind citizens and even the youngsters. 
we need to develop and grow our institutions to be ahead. And of course, ICT and things like this is the solution.